A, B, C, D and E. They were five happy people. One day, A met B and they realized they had a lot of things in common. They liked each other's company, so they became friends and they started staying together. Similarly, C, D and E, they also met and they also realized that they could become good friends. So they became friends and started staying as a group. Something like this happens in chemistry. When two or more different substances, in this case we have chlorine and hydrogen. So when they come together, observe what happens. So chlorine and hydrogen combine to form HCl. In this case, one molecule of hydrogen combines with one molecule of chlorine to form two molecules of HCl. But keep in mind, do not confuse the two molecules of HCl. Two different substances, that is hydrogen and chlorine, they are forming one new substance which is HCl. Even though it is forming two molecules of HCl, but there is only one new compound being formed. Such a reaction is known as a direct combination or a synthesis reaction. This is a reaction in which two or more substances combine to form a single substance. So whenever two or more different substances, they combine to form a single new substance, such a reaction is known as a direct combination or a synthesis reaction. For example, when coal burns in oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide. So two different substances, coal that is carbon and oxygen, they combine to form a new single new substance that is carbon dioxide. Similarly, ammonia and HCl, these are two different substances. They combine to form one new substance that is ammonium chloride. So when ammonia and HCl combine, they form dense white fumes of ammonium chloride. So two different substances are forming one new substance. Now one day, there was a fight. E fought with C and D, so it decided to leave the group. So C and D, they remained as a group and E left the group. So there was a split in the group. Something like this happens in chemistry. So there is one compound, in this case calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So such a reaction in which one compound decomposes to form two or more products, such a reaction is known as decomposition reaction. This is the breaking up of a compound into two or more new substances. This is known as a decomposition reaction as one substance decomposes to form two or more products. So such a reaction in which one compound breaks to form two or more new products is known as a decomposition reaction. For example, copper carbonate. If we heat copper carbonate, it forms a black residue of copper oxide and a gas is released which is carbon dioxide gas. So one substance that is copper carbonate is decomposing to give two products that is co copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Similarly, water. When electric current is passed through water, it breaks up into its constituent atoms. That is, it forms hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So when we pass electric current through water, it forms hydrogen and oxygen. So one compound is decomposing into two products. Now do not confuse this with the number of molecules involved. In this case, we are not concerned with the number of molecules of reactants or products. What we want to know is one substance, that is water, breaks up to form two products, that is hydrogen and oxygen. Now, E had left the group of CDE. So when E met AB, A realized that A liked E more than B. So A became friends with E and B left the group. 
so what e did was e replaced b from its group something like this happens in chemistry in this case we have iron and copper sulfate when they combine see what happens iron replaces copper from its salt solution so such a reaction in which one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution such a reaction takes place in a salt solution that is in a solution of the particular salt so whenever one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution such a reaction is known as single displacement reaction as one atom is displacing another atom so such a reaction is known as single displacement reaction for example if you take an iron nail and you insert it in a blue solution of copper sulfate after some time you observe that the solution turns green in color it forms green colored iron sulfate and there is a reddish brown deposit on the iron nail this deposit is of pure element copper this forms a red precipitate as we see from this arrow so the reaction taking place is iron reacting with copper sulfate to form iron sulfate the green colored solution and copper now what is happening in this case this iron is displacing copper it replaces copper from its salt solution it takes up the position of copper hence it forms feso4 and copper is replaced so such a reaction is single displacement reaction similarly when cuso4 combines with magnesium magnesium replaces copper it forms mgso4 and copper is formed so such a reaction in which one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution is known as a single displacement reaction now there were two groups ae and cd when they met one day a found that he liked d more and e found that he was more comfortable with c so then there was a mutual exchange and ad became friends and ec became friends so by the mutual exchange of friends two new groups were formed when something like this happens in chemistry for example in this case there is silver nitrate and potassium chloride when they come together ag combines with cl and potassium combines with nitrate so there is a mutual exchange of the elements or radicals such a reaction in which there is a mutual exchange of elements or radicals so in this reaction we saw that there is a reaction in which two compounds are participating so there are two compounds in solution they form two new compounds so from two existing compounds we get two new compounds by the mutual exchange of elements or radicals such a reaction is known as double displacement reaction in in single displacement one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution in double displacement reaction there is a mutual exchange between the two compounds and they form two new compounds such a reaction is known as double displacement reaction for example let's observe this reaction we have lead nitrate solution now we'll add some potassium chromate to it observe what happens so when we add a solution of potassium chromate it forms yellow precipitate of lead chromate and also potassium nitrate is formed so in this reaction we know radicals act as one group so this is a radical this is a radical so now there is a mutual exchange of radicals so this comes here and this goes here so it forms lead chromate and potassium nitrate so whenever there is a mutual exchange of elements or radicals in two existing compounds to form two new compounds such a reaction is known as double displacement reaction a reaction is given lead combines with copper chloride to form pbcl2 and copper 
what type of a reaction is this? In this, we observe that lead replaces copper from its salt solution. Hence, it forms PbCl2 and copper is replaced. So, such a reaction in which one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution is known as a single displacement reaction. So, a type of reaction in which one atom replaces another atom from its salt solution is known as a single displacement reaction. 